Good morning, YouTube. It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt. It's a beautiful, snowy Sunday morning. Check it out. Yeah, that's spring here in Canada. Anyway, I don't have any clients today. It's Sunday. I thought it would be a good day to take you through a full day of eating. I wanted to do a, a full day vlog tracking my meals and show you exactly what I'm eating preparing for this competition. So right now I'm about to head down and, and do my high intensity interval training, but first let me take in a little tour of my closet here. And, oh yeah, all those sups. So I usually start off first off with caffeine and synephrine and a little L-carnitine, fasted before my cardio. So I just took those and I'm going to head down and uh, take you on a little tour of my gym. Down into my dungeon, the Barbarian Stronghold. All right, first of all here I got this Total Gym, the Chuck Norris Bodyweight Trainer. It's my cardio station right there, just a spin bike. And then all my dumbbells, adjustable dumbbells and preset. Water cooler, there's all my plates. Got several hundred pounds of Olympic plates and my rack. So the rack I've got a weight stack for rows and pull downs and cable pulley work. Uh, a lot of accessories and straps attached to it and bands. And then all my bars, hex bars, safety squat, a variety of Olympic bars. Just recently had the mirrors put up really brightens up the room, makes it feel a lot bigger. My battle rope, dip bars, glue hand machine, another hex bar, T-bar row, and my benches. Got the leg extension, leg curl attachments. Two adjustable benches, one flat bench, and an infrared sauna. Oh yeah! Also have a washroom over here and a shower in there for clients. And here's my office. Therapy table, so I shoot my videos, whiteboard. So before I get into my fasted cardio, one of the things I like to do every morning is focus on my goals. I have a list of goals that I want to accomplish and I spend a few minutes looking at them and focusing on them. I find that really helps you direct your day and your week. Uh, the mindset is, is hugely important when it comes to accomplishing goals. Another thing I like to do is read one of these uh, mindset cards. It might sound kind of corny but uh, this helps you set the tone for the day as well. So let's see what we've got here. Realize deeply that the present moment is all you ever have. Make the now the primary focus of your life. Oh yeah. Solid advice. Let's see what's up here. Be willing to do what's hard. If you're only willing to do what's easy, life will be hard. But if you're willing to do what's hard, life will be easy. Very true. All right, let's do the hard. All right, let's get it on. I'll be making a full video on high intensity interval training in an upcoming episode, but my go-to exercises right now are high knees with fast feet, burpees, and mountain climbers. The same exercises I'm using in my 3D abs program. And if you haven't checked that program out yet, I definitely suggest you go take a look at it. I'll post a link down below in the description. I like these exercises because you can perform them anywhere and they do get my heart rate up pretty quickly. But you could use basically any high intensity cardio type exercise like skipping rope, uh, elliptical, treadmill, etc. As long as you hit the high intensity intervals hard. On the days I do my high intensity interval training, I also practice my poses. Uh, this is at least three times a week right now and leading up to the competition, it will become more and more frequent. 
starting to get leaner now. Uh, still have some work to do, but I like what I see. Uh, one of the things to consider when you're in a calorie deficit, you're starting to lose body fat, is that it's normal for your metabolism to slow down a little bit. Your thermic effect of food is less because you're eating less, obviously. Um, the NEAT or non-exercise activity thermogenesis uh, tends to be reduced as well. There may be a little bit of uh, slowing down in your thyroid hormone production. So a few things I suggest to compensate for this is to incorporate a refeed day every couple of weeks to keep your protein intake high and to keep your strength training intense. All right, time for breakfast. So right now I'm down to a caloric deficit of 2,400 calories, but I'm still trying to get about a gram of protein per pound of body weight. So that means uh, at least 200 grams of protein a day. So for my breakfast, I'd like to get three whole eggs and if I'm eating breakfast on the run, then I just have hard-boiled eggs. But if I'm at home, I like to turn this into a bit of an omelet so I can get some greens in there. Now with baby spinach, if I'm not making an omelet, I just put this in a bag, a Ziploc, and I wolf it down by itself. I'm getting some cheese. I'll let that do its work. Alright, so I got my omelet, the cheese and spinach. I also like to get a cup of Greek yogurt up my protein count, and it's got some good bacteria, probiotics for gut health. And that's breakfast. Always throw in a little Frank's Red Hot or Sriracha. And I honestly do put that shit on everything. Lots of it. I don't know. I'm addicted to hot right now. Alright, bon appetit. I'll catch up with you when I'm hitting my mid-morning snack. So on the days where I don't take on clients, I usually schedule some time to work on the business. So answering emails, working my blog posts, editing videos, uh, or right now I'm working on an ebook. So I always take some time to do uh, some work with my online business um, or work on the business, not just in the business. Uh, this is usually when I take my mid-morning snack and right now I'm addicted to these uh, Biop bars. Uh, this is uh, vanilla peanut butter. So I usually add a little bit of almond butter or peanut butter to this. So I put a spoonful of almond butter in my macros as well. Of course, if it goes in here, it has to go in here. Everything gets tracked. Everything's on my fitness pal for several months leading up to the competition. So, boom. It has a barcode, you can scan it, tracks your calories and your macros. Make sure you're on track. I also try and get some sort of vegetables in each of my main meals and snacks. Throwing in some baby carrots this time. And try and get in about three liters of water a day. That's gonna change obviously when I get into the last couple weeks before the competition. But we'll get into that in another uh, video. So I've got a buddy of mine coming over, my training partner coming over in about an hour to hit a workout. I'll get some footage of the workout for you and show you what I'm taking before and after training. All right, just getting ready to start my workout. So I'm taking my pre-workout supplements. Uh, I'm getting some citrulline, beta alanine. I like to put a little creatine HCL in there. I'm gonna make a full video of all the supplements I'm taking, like I said, so I'm not gonna get into this too much. Uh, I'm taking a lot because I'm sponsored, so I have access to a lot of things, but uh, in that video, I'll cover what the essentials are. So the few supplements that I, I recommend taking, uh, depending on what your goals are for building muscle or losing fat. All right, I'm gonna get these in with some protein pre-workout. I usually like to get the protein uh, without carbs uh, before my workout. And I also have a post-workout shake uh, with carbohydrates. I made a video on that already. I'll link to that under here, but I'll show you that after the workout. Today's an off day, so really I'm just training some core. Uh, we're gonna do some isolation work for arms and shoulders. Just gonna have fun with it. 
uh, I call it like an active rest day leading up to the competitions. I don't really have any true off days. Uh, so we're going to be going pretty light today, having some fun with it, and I'll catch you after the workout. Starting off with a bodyweight push-pull superset here. I'm going to move on to some shoulders after that and finish off with core today. Just trying to burn some calories, keep that metabolism raging. Right now my goal is to take in uh, 2,400 calories a day. Usually my maintenance is just under 3,000 calories, so I'm at about uh, 500 calorie deficit there. As I get closer to the competition, I am going to be reducing that by another couple hundred calories uh, if my fat loss has stalled out. And I may introduce another day of high intensity interval training. Check out my video on the phases of fat loss that shows you how I'm introducing uh, different progressive phases of fat loss as I approach the competition. check that out this is the same as in that video except uh, I'm leaving out the Greek yogurt because I had that with breakfast this morning and uh, I actually ran out of frozen berries so there's none of that in here otherwise same thing so when I get this in me get those gains uh, I got some more work to do online a couple of client programs to finish up uh, and then I'll catch up with you when I hit my mid-afternoon meal okay it's time for my afternoon meal I'm gonna be having a rice cake with some sliced turkey and a slice of Havarti on it. And I'm gonna throw a little mustard on there as well. And hot sauce. I told you I put this shit on everything. Good. And some spinach. All right. I'm also going to be having a can of tuna. So it's a little dry. Instead of mayonnaise, what I've been using is a little bit of olive oil. And one of my neighbors made up uh, this olive oil with uh, jalapenos soaked in there. Nice and hot. Delicious. I've been adding this to uh, anything where I want a little bit of uh, oil or a little bit of added fat. I've been throwing this in. I cook my eggs in this actually now too. It has a lot of flavor. So that's going to be my lunch. Oh yeah. Got to throw that hot sauce on the tuna as well. Hot sauce. Alright, this is my last meal before dinner time. I'm going to spend some time with the family uh, and I'll catch up with you for dinner. Oh yeah, dinner's cooking up. See them Angus burgers, broccoli, quinoa pasta, fried onions. Mmm, mmm. Alright, I want two ounces of quinoa pasta. So I'm going to get this teared off for the weight of the plate. I'm going to add the pasta. There, just over two ounces. Perfect. All right, this looks good. A little more hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Never have too much of this stuff. I, actually, I like this even better than sriracha and zero calories. Frank, if you're watching, let's talk sponsorship. Let's see how this is. Mm. 
and the day is done. It's time to hit the sack. Hit my macros pretty close. If I ever do go over my calories, I just adjust the next day to make sure I stay on track. Um, also, if I can make it fit my macros, I do usually like to uh, have some cottage cheese before bed just for that slow release casein. And here are a couple of the supplements I like to take before uh, I hit the sack. GH Freak and Test Freak. Uh, GH Freak has some uh, some GABA, melatonin, 5-HTP, a few things to make sure you get a good night's sleep. Uh, Test Freak has ZMA, fenugreek, tribulus. Both of them definitely help to improve the quality of my sleep and my recovery. Uh, sometimes get some weird dreams thrown in there as well. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions and comments, post them down below. And until next time, good night.